Hey, it's Jalil with the Tone Canvas, and I thought it would just be a good idea to mix a handful of colors that are present on everyday objects. Not only is this good practice, but it just helps hone in my skills and help me mix colors that I possibly haven't before. And to start, I thought it would be a good idea to mix the colors from this barbecue sauce that I saw lying around and I did so because there's you know that nice mustard yellow color there which is one of my favorite colors and there's that white that off-white color in the top of the label and that rich red brown color of the sauce so I was like let's let's get into this So to start with the mustard color, pretty much all you need to know is purple and yellow are complementary opposites. So if we're trying to go for mustard yellow, what we're going to want to do is do a lot of yellow and a little purple. Just adjust the red and the blue of the violet to get to the point where that mustard color is the temperature you need it to be. And that should be... That should be all for that. And just to confirm that I matched the colors, I just brush on the barbecue sauce itself to show that it blends in perfectly with it. So for the label, there's not that much warmth to it, so I just add a little blue, put that on there, added a lot more white to lighten it up, and I was able to quickly get to that color especially since I had already mixed that mustard color from before. I just adjusted it to match the same as the top of the label. Now I found the darker part of the bottle of sauce to be fairly simple. I just used burnt umber and ultramarine blue because those create the darkest value and from there all I really needed to capture was the warmth. So I just added some red and I got to that pretty quickly. And again, just putting it on there just to make sure that it matches up correctly. All right, so now I decided I wanted to go for a sort of a more powerful color to get to. So, what I want to do is introduce a new color into this, because I wouldn't be able to get to this color without adding another color into my palette. So I added a, a deep violet, because, yeah, there's no way I was getting to that with just my red and blue that I had on my palette. This color is going to be very hard to get to, because it's strong, of a, it's a strong color, but it's also... A light value which there's some give and take in oil painting meaning like like if I add white that will kind of uh, mute the color down and you'll lose some of that saturation but if you add more saturation the darker the color gets so it's, this was good for helping me try to get that balance So there's a lot of back and forth with this color, but I eventually got close enough to where I was satisfied with it. And again, I wanted to try to make it look as if it was the same as that color as it and cover up some of that lettering. Again, these are all just items that may be just around your house. Just anything's good for practice. So here I introduced another color. It's actually a color I use more than I thought I would, cobalt uh, turquoise. Helps with sky colors and glass. So for the bottom I thought it would be pretty easy. I just used that 
color of my palette that I added that's already close to the color of that bottom of the box, but I just need a little more blue, a little more white to lighten it up, and I figured I'd be able to get to it pretty quickly, and I, I did. It's pretty satisfying when you get a color pretty close. Now, I'm not perfectly accurate here, but you know, it's close enough to where I'm satisfied and you can't really notice the difference. So this box had a lot of interesting colors that I thought I would go after. I'll go after the that bottom green color, also the sky and that cliff that the person, the character is hiking on. So the sky ended up being harder than I thought it would be. It's a lot of that cobalt turquoise, but I had I kind of struggled at first balancing uh, the cool with the warm. I put a little too much ultramarine blue in there and you know, tried to balance it back out with the complementary color of blue, which is orange. I put a little more red and yellow in there. It was too warm, so I had a lot of back and forth with this part. But again, I just did this to practice, and I was just playing around with it until I got to where I needed it to go. For all these colors, actually, before I put like a stronger color in, I'll try to mix close enough to that color with the palette that I already have, and then if I need to enhance it, I'll just go ahead and add that other color to it to take it to that next level and make it a lot more accurate. Because there's a time and a place for very saturated, powerful colors, and This box had a lot of those, so. So I covered up the guy's leg there. I think it looks pretty accurate, so. Done with that. Now on to the rock. Red, yellow, burnt umber, blue. Obviously keeping it on the warmer side. This color wasn't too hard to come by. And I just added some white to get it to the value I needed it to. And boom, right there is good. And I think up top on the rock is also good. Because it's the same color. If you want to see more color matching like this, I have a more in-depth video on my Skillshare on how to match any color with oil paint. Link down in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed stuff like this, I would appreciate if you subscribed and shared some comments. I enjoy getting feedback about why I could improve or perhaps what you like about the stuff I'm doing. So thanks for watching.